Thanks everybody for coming out here. And I want to uh, especially thank those that have shared a few words and, and speaking. It's not easy to do, especially uh, for those that have made some tough choices and have had impacts on their careers. But I want to say this about our healthcare system. And I asked this question in the legislature. We have ERs that are shutting down, especially in small communities. The nurses I've talked to, and I've talked to nurses right around this province, what they're telling me is they're burnt out. They're working minimal shifts, they're being asked to work double shifts, they're seriously concerned about being able to service their patients. I'm talking to a number of doctors around the province, people that care deeply about their community and about their patients. And a number of them are telling me that they're done. Not only are they burnt out, not only are they concerned about not being able to service their patients, but they're concerned about this act and they're concerned about, quite frankly, not being able to work properly in this province. Not being able to provide the professional advice that they have been trained to do for their patients. <clears throat> People go to school for, for a decade or longer to be able to service people, to be able to give back, to be able to give health care for the people. And we need it, especially, you know, us that are getting a little older and a little grayer. We need more of those services. We need to be able to trust those people. We need to know that they have our best interests in mind. And I do know as a profession, they do that to the person. There isn't a single one I've ever met that doesn't have that as their goal. And Adrian Dix has said they want to protect patients from the healthcare workers. To me, this is just wrong. We should be figuring out how we actually support and honor our healthcare workers. Our healthcare workers are the backbone of healthcare. Without them, we don't have healthcare. As a society, we need to be holding them up. We need to be saying thank you. We need to be treating them. During the pandemic, we banged pots. We said thank you for serving us. And suddenly that's all stopped. And I look today at what we're doing, particularly when I look at the fact that we're still sticking with these mandates. We are one of the only jurisdictions in the world that is forcing this mandate issue. And whether you want to take it or not, that is your choice. That should be your choice. It should be your ability to make those decisions. But I can tell you, when you go into an emergency room, when you go in and you have a problem. Okay, I'm cut off. Oh, there we go, okay. When you go in and you have something that you need to be taken care of, it's an emergency. You want a doctor to be there. And I can tell you, when you have come from a small community, one doctor can make a huge difference. A couple of nurses make a huge difference. We should be doing everything we can to get those healthcare workers back in our system. We need to take our system. We need to take our system from right now, which is a pretty dark place. Morale is bottoming out. People are really struggling that are working in that system. We need to take it, we need to show them hope. We need to show them that we can make a difference, that we can honor them, that they can carry on with their profession and that the support will be there so that they'll be able to carry on on a daily basis doing what it is that they've been trained to do, which is provide us the best health care possible in this province. So I really want to thank Oh boy. Okay. I really want to thank once again um, the, the people that have spoken. Thank everybody here for showing up today. Uh, with this, I really want to thank CC or CSSCM. Uh, the work that they've done. I think it's the problem is the battery, I think, is going a little bit. <clears throat> I really want to thank the work that they have done. Can everybody just hear me? Yeah. 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 Okay. I really want to thank the work that they have done because they have gone around to people in this province. They've handed out these cards. They've asked them to, to bring them in, to have them. To have them, uh, okay, second one. This one's cold. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was one thing as a doctor. You're not supposed to have cold hands. But... <laughs> anyway, they've gone around and they've asked people to sign up healthcare workers and individuals around this province to be able to bring their concerns forward with these cards. We presented them today in the, in the legislature. They will be distributed to MLAs and we expect responses. And I think you as, as individuals should expect responses from your uh, politicians. They should be able to respond and say, this is why I voted for this bill or this is why, you know, we're doing this. My perspective, 
This is a bill, quite frankly, that leads us further into darkness. Right. It needs to go. It needs to be changed. We need to be able to get back to a place that puts healthcare people back at the center of our healthcare. You know, I just want to touch on one more quick thing that I just drives me absolutely nuts about our healthcare system. When a hospital has a budget, when a hospital has a budget, if they have a problem, if they're running out of money, what do they do? They see less patients because they look at patients as a cost. I think that is completely wrong. I think what hospitals need to be doing is doing everything they can to be able to service patients, to be able to bring patients in. And they need to be able to be supported if they can do more, not punished. Our healthcare system needs dramatic change, ladies and gentlemen. And you're all a part of that in coming out here and, being, and doing this today, and talking about this. I look forward to that work ahead, and I look forward to, uh, to unveiling what we're going to be doing as a Conservative Party of British Columbia to change healthcare for the better in this province. Thanks everybody again for coming out here today.